Hi friends, welcome back. This is Mehjubin. In today's video, I am going to explain William Shakespeare's Sonnet 86, which is also titled as Was it the proud full sail of his great verse? In this sonnet, Shakespeare expresses his feelings of hurt because he feels that his dear friend, the Earl of Southampton, has shifted his affections by transferring his royal patronage to a rival poet who could be either Christopher Marlowe or George Chapman who were both playwrights and dramatists like Shakespeare himself. So let's check out the sonnet. So the poet begins the sonnet by raising a question. He is addressing the Earl of Southampton, his dear friend, and he wants to know the reason behind this, uh, this uh, sudden shift of affection. He is asking a question. He is saying, was it the proud full sail of his great verse? Now this his is the rival poet. Uh, uh, and uh, the poet Shakespeare says that was it the proud full sail of his great verse? That means was it the awesome poetry which was composed by the rival poet bound for the prize of you? Was it the awesome poetry that the rival poet had composed? Was it, that, was it the reason behind uh, your uh, shift in attention? Previously, you were interested in me, you loved me, you cared for me deeply, but now I don't no longer get your attention. So what is the reason? The re is, is it the reason that the rival poet compo uh, composes he uh, better poetry than me? Bound for the prize of you, uh, prize all too precious of you, that did my right thoughts in my brain in hairs. In hairs means to die. So the poet says that my right thoughts, all the, uh, all the beautiful thoughts that I had in my brain, all have died. Now they have all reached their coffin, making their tomb the womb wherein they grew. So all my right thoughts, all the beautiful thoughts that could have adorned my sonnets, my poetry are all dead and they lie in the, in the uh, they lie in the womb that means in the brain from where they had origin originated was it his spirit then now then the poet says that was it the spirit that guides the rival poet are supernatural spirits guiding the rival poet and are these sp spirits the reason why you have shifted your affection from me to this new poet was it his spirit by spirits taught to write or is it because the rival poet has the capacity to compose better poetry than me because he is guided by some supernatural spirit above a mortal pitch that struck me dead. Is it because the poetry that is composed by the rival poet is, is above the level which can be reached by a human being? It must be of a different level altogether and that is why he composes better poetry than me and that is the reason why my dear friend the Earl of Southampton no longer cares for me, no longer loves me and he has shifted his patronage. He is now fully engrossed in this new love of his. No, neither he nor his compares by night. Now the poet Shakespeare seems to have second thoughts. He is thinking in a different way. He says that no neither he, that means no the rival, neither the rival poet nor his compares, that means nor his spiritual companions who assist him, who seem to assist him at night while composing poetry, give him aid. I don't think that his spiritual uh, companions give him better aid. Uh, my verse astonished. I don't think that his spiritual companions give the rival poet better, uh, better capacity to compose poetry and as a result my verse has become dead. Astonish means dead. My sonnets have become dead to, uh, and, do, and no longer arouse the interest of the Earl of Southampton, my lover, my friend. He nor that affable familiar ghost 
he means the rival poet nor that affable affable means friendly familiar ghost that means the spiritual uh, guide the ghost which seems to uh, assist uh, this rival poet which nightly gulls gulls means to deceive and nightly means to deceive at night time with uh, gull him with intelligence so i don't think that the information that this uh, spirit gives to the rival poet at night time uh, is a genuine one it is something that is um, this is uh, that is dece a deceiving kind of intelligence it is something um, uh, which is a cheating kind of uh, intelligence and i don't think this intelligence that the spirits give the rival poet are uh, something so powerful that can actually uh, divert the attention of um, the earl of southampton so which nightly gulls him with intelligence as victors of my silence cannot boast so i don't think that the rival poet nor his spiritual companions who assist him during at the at night to compose poetry i don't think that they can call themselves as victors to silence me to silence me through my poetry because they are not the reasons behind this um this uh, lack of um uh, power in my uh, verse this lack of power in my vi uh, in my verse is due to an entirely different reason so what is that reason we will study uh, we'll look into it now i was not sick of any fear from thence but when your countenance filled up his line then i lacked then lacked i matter that enfeebled mind now the poet says that it is not that i was afraid of the rival poet or it is not that i was afraid of the spiritual companions of the rival poet who uh, who might be assisting this poet to compose um, a, a powerful poetry but when your countenance filled up his line it is only only then my my spirits broke my intention the spirit with which i used to compose poetry dedicating uh, these sonnets to my uh, dear friend the earl but when your countenance filled up his line that is when your patronage your unsolicited patronage shifted suddenly to this rival poet without him drawing any attention towards you then my spirit broke then lacked i matter that enfeebled me and as a result i started feeling weak because it is not because i feel that the rival poet composes better poetry it is not because i feel that the spirits Uh, that the spiritual companions which assist the rival poet they help him to um, they they give him a better kind of inspiration i don't believe in all these things the only thing that i believe in uh, believe in is that you suddenly purposely uh, purposefully you willingly and very consciously shifted your attention from me towards this rival poet and as a result this realization this feeling has uh, broken my spirit and today i no longer feel uh, feel the desire to compose poetry with this i come to the end of today's video i will be uploading the summary of sonnet 86 next and until the next time we meet again bye